Hello everyone, as you can see that I'm in a truck. And why is that? Because today I'm going to teach you how to take the perfect steak at home. Have you ever been to a supermarket, tried to take a steak and not know which one is better? Today, let's learn from Mark. Hi, hi Cece. Nice, nice seeing see you again. Thank you for having this amazing suit. Um, and hat on. It's really, I hope it's cute. <laughs> it, it is cute. And you dress the part like a real butcher in the meat market. Absolutely. I'm, I'm Mark, Mark Solez with Master Purveyors. And I'm a principal in a company that sells to hotels, restaurants, and supermarkets prime and top choice meat. And CC has invited me to talk to you today about how to pick a good piece of meat in a supermarket. Um, so where should we start? I see all these amazing meat. Would you give us some tips today? Sure. First, I'd like to show you the meat that's hanging in the room so the viewers know what we have here. Follow me. We're going to walk here. Okay. What we have here is short ones. And short ones are where the porterhouse steaks and the shell steaks come from. We bring in whole cattle and we break it down into smaller parts. Peter Luger's is a very famous steakhouse in Brooklyn and Long Island and we've been doing business with them since 1959. Okay, see, what we have over here on the plate is two steaks. Now the meat that you see on this plate here is not the meat that we showed before hanging on the hook. The meat before was fresh meat. Fresh meat we bring in for the high steak houses. What you're going to find in the supermarket is meat that comes in a box. What you're going to look for in a good steak in the supermarket are the following items. This is a choice steak and this is a prime steak. Prime steak is the highest quality you can find that's graded by the United States Department of Agriculture. Choice is in the middle mm. and there's one grade low which is called select. Now it totally makes sense to me because I was like prime and choice, what is the difference? Now you say that prime basically meaning the best steak that you can find and choice is the second. Now there's select which is the lower one, right? right. Okay, now we can continue. So when, what a select steak looks like, and I don't have that here because I don't sell select to our customers, is a piece of meat that would look similar to these but with less marbling running through the eye of the steak. As you can see, this prime steak has highly marbled, nice and fine, and you can see the nice silkiness of the meat, which makes it a top quality steak. In this steak, which is a choice steak, you can still see marbling inside the steak, but it's not as defined as in the prime. Another thing to look at when looking in a, in a, in a steak in a, in a supermarket is that this steak doesn't hold its firmness as well as this prime steak here. This is a more solid muscle. So when looking at a supermarket, you want to look on a tray with a piece of steak that actually holds its form and doesn't look like it's falling over in the tray. Another thing to look at in a steak in a supermarket is look at the tray itself. Look to see if there's any blood in the tray surrounding the steak. Your objective is to try to get meat that doesn't have the lack of blood. You want to have it inside the steak. So when you ultimately cook the steak, it's juicy and not dry. And as you can see, just to look at this steak, there's a little blood already forming around the tray around the choice. And the prime is still holding the blood inside the steak. Now I have a better understanding of how to pick a steak. Basically, Mar just mentioned three points. Point number one, a lot of marbles and thin marbles, right? Yes. Okay. Point number two, the firmness, the textures, how it looks like not really everywhere but really firm. The muscle looks good and pretty. Point number three, that there's not a lot of blood around it. Cece, I have now two other pieces of meat that I presented and I'd like for you to be able to tell me and the viewers if you can tell the difference between prime and choice and the qualities of the meat in front of us. I can do it. Okay. Okay, so as we can see on the table, this piece of meat has a lot of marble, it's very thin, very pretty, 
and it looks really, really solid. Whereas this piece of meat, it looks a little bit wet. And the marbling is not as good as this piece. Very so good. So I will definitely pick this one. <laughs> this one is very good. This one is a prime rib steak, and this is a choice rib steak. Thanks to Mark, now I know exactly how to pick high quality steak. If you want these high quality meat, you can either buy them at Fairway Market. Or Prime and Beyond in New Jersey, Grace's Market in New York City. Or if you'd like to get the meat that's behind us, you actually have to visit the steakhouses that we talked about in an interview. Like Peter Lugas. Or Benjamin Steakhouse or Smith Walensky. That's awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you again next time.